Hello everybody, this is Greg McKellar of Resin Alchemy coming to you from my temporary uh, workstation. Um, I've got uh, a new project I'm going to start and I thought I'd go ahead and do a short video on my first impressions of it and, uh, and then go from there. This is the one quarter, one quarter scale blade from Showboat Models. Uh, it had a lot of hype at the time. It's a beautiful, uh, actually a beautiful sculpt uh, with lots of uh, motion to it and we have the ability to interchange arm uh, arms and weapons and so forth for just a you know a, a multiple uh, uh, posing if, if that's what you want to do um, when this kit first came out the price point was pretty high it was 575 dollars which was really too rich for my blood um, i still had an, an idea that i wanted one if i could get one um, but after I heard uh, some of the, uh, the stories concerning the, the casting, uh, I, I pulled back from that. Now, although, uh, to, I, I, I'm sorry, the caster's name is, is escaping me, but to his credit, he did make good on uh, a lot of the uh, issues uh, that were prevalent at the time. Um, overall, my overall impression of the casting is that it's good. It's, it's better than average, uh, and uh, in, in, most, in some cases, it's actually very good. In some areas, um, the one uh, the, the one standing uh, glaring difference is right around here in the, the collar shoulder area, which I've understood from other folks who have the kit that it's it's uh, it's pretty much uh, a, a do over in that area. Uh, I can see where the where the uh, caster actually tried to do some puttying and and fixing of it, but it's going to be a, a, a process to get that done. Really, there's nothing here in this whole casting or this kit that is alarming to me. The average modeler could, could prep this thing and get it ready for a paint and it would actually be no issue at all. So overall I'd probably give it around a, a C plus, B minus maybe, uh, whereas somebody like Naren who his kits run around you know the 250 plus mark, uh, when they show up they are absolutely flawless. You can practically just put them together with no seams at all. Um, just a couple of things about uh, the whole idea with interchanging weapons and all that is a great idea if, you, if you're somebody who likes to sit there and change poses and model. But for most people, once you set it on the shelf, that's the way it's going to be. You're never going to touch it. If I were going to keep this kit, I would, for myself, if I, if I decide to keep it versus selling it, I may just go ahead and choose a, uh, a, a pose. And actually, I think this one goes up here. I would choose a pose and leave it there. Because you're never going to get this seam out. It's always going to be a gap there of some sort, and that will always bug me, I suppose. Uh, uh, but uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, there's there's a, a fair amount of work I would need to do on the cape and the back of it. There's uh, This whole piece here is uh, the piece that's really going to need the most work probably all the time. I'm going to spend, it's going to, most of it's going to be right here on this upper torso. Now, this torso also takes a whole earth magnet. All these are magnetized and you actually get a bag of magnets from the kit which is kind of cool. Uh, and the holes are already drilled for it. But really I don't know why since you can't interchange the body and you can't interchange the head, uh, why would you want to magnetize it and leave gaps and so forth. So this is all going to be uh, integrated with uh, epoxy sculpt and so forth uh, to make it a flawless uh, integration of the parts. Um, not sure exactly. Uh, it's going to be also obviously a series of, of it's all blacks and grays, um, but uh, I'm going to do a series of videos on how I address doing so much uh, variation in black and, and, and uh, hues of black to make it more visual and more appealing to the, to the person who's viewing it. So um, I think that's about it. I'm going to go ahead and start the cleanup on it and uh, we'll be posting some other videos of, uh, of the how-to as, as, as I progress on it. And uh, I hope it comes out well. Again, it's a beautiful sculpt, beautiful looking kit. And uh, I look forward to hopefully uh, putting forth a great result that I can be proud of. All right, folks, thank you very much. And we'll talk to you later.